Why are you doing this? Running away from everything you know. I mean, what about Max and Tom? They need you. Max has got Claire now. All right, what about Tom? You're the closest thing to a mother he's got. You can't just abandon him. I'm not abandoning him. I'll stay in touch. And when I find a place, he can come and stay whenever he likes. It's not the same. Tom will always be a part of my life. Stay in just for his sake. Can't do it. Well, how do you know this is what you really want? I mean, you're still grieving. Your emotions are all over the place. I know what I want, Tony. Maybe you can't... You can't just tell me that this is it. Why? Because you can't stand not being in control. It's got nothing to do with control. It's got everything to do with it. That's why you lost it after Grace died. Because for once in your life you had no control. The person you love most in the world was there one minute and gone the next. And you were powerless to do anything about it. It's different. When Mum and Lewis died, I felt cursed, victimised, like I was to blame in some way. Now I know bad things happen for no reason. And searching for one is pointless. And bitterness and blame are pointless. Her life was always out of our hands, Tony. We were never in control. But if she hadn't died, you wouldn't be doing this. You wouldn't be leaving me. You never know that for sure. Maybe we would have carried on, focused on her, ignored what was wrong with us. You think it's always been like this? No, not always. And when I married you, I was in love with you. I was happy and I thought it was forever. Oh, what changed? I changed. I grew strong. Your love allowed me to do that. You're saying this is my fault? No. It's no one's fault. When Grace died, everything changed. And I had to be strong for myself. But you made me realise that I can go it alone. I can change my life. 